Welcome. Welcome, Taurus. Welcome to Kiki's doorway. Let's see what your soulmate wants to review for November 2nd to no November 4th, 2018. Review, redo. Let's see. God, Gaia, God, Goddess, Mother, Father. What does Mr. and Miss Taurus soulmate want to redo for October? October. Something about in October. All right. November 2nd to November 4th. 2018. Should we do? Okay. What actions will Mr. and Ms. Torres soulmate take? Mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. Okay, that's what it was about. Masculine Taurus, your soulmate is really looking at what does it mean to have a solid finance. They have met you before when it comes to service, how to be grounded in their finance, how to have a solid foundation between service and stability upon that. Each of us have a service that we give each and every day. Your soulmate is wondering how does their service become a solid financial foundation for them. If this is what you're thinking about masculine Taurus, you're re-looking at or redoing or even reviewing how does your service truly tie or balance out your finances? If it's an imbalance to you, or if that's on your mind, you're trying to see how to make it very fluid. Female Taurus. Let's get this there for a second. Feminine Taurus, your soulmate, is also looking at how they view food and hunger. What is their true nourishment? Is the nourishment that they take physically helping them? Is it nourishing their bodies in the way they feel it should be? They might be re-looking at how they eat, uh, checking out different not diets, but meals and regimens that really physically and spiritually, very much emotionally and energetically tie into the way they actively move. And again, the hunger. Sometimes people eat six meals a day, yet they have it in small portions. So both masculine and feminine Taurus, both your soulmates are figure out how to make their finances more solid and how to align those aspects where it doesn't deprive them of their everyday life and they also get the nourishment that they need. Masculine Taurus, your soulmate is looking at the seven aspects that they have as a service or the seven aspects that they look at when it comes to their finances, as either it be their checking, their savings, um, assets, uh, bookkeeping, 
they looking at every avenue that makes them feel more or would allow them to feel more secure in their finances yes it's complex but once they write or jot down those avenues that they're concerned about they'll find a solution so yes it is a complex decision but the more they do research with which I feel your soulmate, Masculine Taurus, is doing. They'll come to that serum. And that procrastination would be replaced with pushing ahead. Because seven is all about balance. So your soulmate is in the house of Libra, so it's all about the balance. So they're not going to be wasting their time in regards to building their finances or reviving and making it more solid. Female Taurus, your soulmate is becoming that messenger of their passion. So they found out what really they enjoy to do and want to create as a service. If this is their diet, they're finding a meal or foods vegetables, fruits that really resonate with them and they're finding meals that actually replace the hunger with that harnessing of their energy. So now they have the energy to go out and be go and begin be go begin the outgoing nature of who they are. Female Taurus Yosomi is also bringing out their creativ their creativity. Let me get this. Yes. So, news of inciting new endeavors. And they're using their originality. Female Taurus, also, what does it mean to you to use your originality? How does it make you feel passionately about it? The degree in which your passion takes you will tell you exactly how much effort you really want to put into that project. Or, yeah, to that new endeavor. Masculine Taurus. Your soulmate, once they align the seven aspects of how to really structure their finance, they will become the queen of earth. They will be thoughtful on how they approach their finances rather than be judgmental. They'll be very creative in using their natural resources rather than go outside herself or himself. Your soulmate will understand that it's nothing wrong with learning. But now they're becoming their own boss and bossettes. And they're becoming more warm and sensible to those steps in which they are becoming more grounded. So they're making the time for those around them. They're going to be spending time with friends and family. This getting back to the basic of who they are. If this is you, masculine Taurus, going towards people that you know truly love you and give you that warm sense of self is exactly the energy you need to further build your finances because there's nothing better than understanding why am I building my finances is it just for myself is it for my family is it for my children is it for my extended family is it for my friends is it for me the more you start thinking about who and whom you're supporting besides yourself the more this sensible approach will be more evident. So they're dealing with challenges that will arise, of course. But they're doing it with such a tact and such kindness that their understanding manner will also be magnetic to more abundance. As also to you, masculine Taurus. Female Taurus, your soulmate is... When they're becoming that messenger of their passion, like anything, when we're passionate about something, we're afraid of being judged or being criticized. Because like anything in this world, when you love something, it's always going to be a critic. So at first they would expect the worst, but they're now going to understand that if they have that passion, then that means that they're going to move forward. Because if they didn't, they wouldn't be in the house of Sagittarius, which is the ninth house. And the ninth house is all about becoming that new trailblazer, that go-getter. So it's like going after something you love. 
yes, you go after it, but sometimes that negative talk might weigh your energy. So right now they're going to take a rest on that. They're going to review and redo, first of all, how they even talk to themselves. And they're going to start implementing positive self-talk to get them out of the stagnation. And as they're getting back their groove and their momentum, they're going to have that self-fulfilling prophecy of how to move ahead. And the sleepless nights that they once felt or at times will come across, they'll know how to handle it by saying, okay, if I'm passionate about this, yes, I'm going to have sleepless nights. How can I use my sleepless nights to sail or to center what is the main purpose till we meet again Mr. and Miss Taurus your soulmate including yourself is understanding that in order to love what they do they're going to balance out how they even see themselves as a financial advisor to them, to yourself. What does it mean to really hold the reins of your finances and how is it making them feel? I love you, Mr. and Ms. Torres. We will see you on the other side.